See, this, this right here is what I like to hear. And it looks like the Ravens are trying to be careful with their wording and with their notifications as well. Because the first notification that we all got, we have activated Tyler Huntley, Justin Matabike, and Tony Jefferson from the COVID list. And of course, yesterday we know that uh, Tyus Bowser, he got activated as well. So Ravens, with Nick, when it comes to COVID, which has given the, the Ravens, and not just the Ravens, but given the world a lot of bad news. Um, but just keeping it with NFL specifically, COVID has given the Ravens a lot of bad news over the past 365 days. Because you know Ravens, like, they done been through it. They done been through it when it comes to COVID like crazy. They done been through it. Um, but they, they, they let us know that. But then they followed that up with Tyler Huntley will be available if Lamar Jackson isn't ready. You see that? So I, I think that they, they understand. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they understand that Lamar Jackson does not need to be rushed we all saw the video from yesterday's practice we all saw how lamar was kind of like limping and like they like to say walking gingerly and whatnot and it just he wasn't looking like himself but he ain't been looking like himself all year even when he was playing but that limp was significant and again i just i'm, I'm fearful Y'all know I'm very fearful of the situation. A lot of y'all are very fearful of the situation in hopes that the Ravens don't push something that doesn't need to be pushed. Now, of course, we all, we want to see Lamar Jackson back. We want to see Lamar come back. We want to see Lamar Jackson playing for the Ravens. But I feel like so many fans, so many Ravens fans have been realistic uh, with their understanding of the situation. And so many Ravens fans have been realistic with their expectations. I've seen so many Ravens fans say, oh, we would love to see Lamar come back, but if he's not all the way healthy, nope, don't want to see him. It's a lot of Ravens fans that are very comfortable. It, yeah, it would be unfortunate, but a lot of Ravens fans are very comfortable with waiting till next season to see Lamar Jackson play football again if he's not healthy this season. And I, I'm, I'm on the same page. I'm on the same exact page. But today's news, uh, it does give us some hope for this season. Because, again, I know this season is, is things are looking very dim. Uh, it's not looking very bright. And you got a very, very tough game in a couple days against the Rams. At 1 p.m., not 425 anymore. Remember that. Um, but with Tyler Huntley being activated again, Tyler Huntley gives us somebody that we have confidence. Well, a lot of us have confidence. And I can't speak for everybody, but I myself would have confidence in him if Lamar Jackson can't go and if Lamar Jackson's not full go. Because just like Josh Johnson and Tyler Huntley and Greg Roman, we need to have a conversation about this. But anyway, just like Josh Johnson did this past Sunday and just like Tyler Huntley has done past Sundays, um, the quick passing game, they are able to be efficient with this Ravens offense. Now, something that Tyler Huntley adds that uh, Josh, Josh, Josh Johnson doesn't is the mobility the true mobility like tyler huntley can move and i've said this before in my opinion this year healthy tyler huntley has looked faster and quicker and just been a smoother runner than unhealthy lamar jackson has this year because we know again lamar is not he has not been lamar he has not been lamar that's not him what we've seen when he's been running that's not him he definitely hasn't been full fully healthy because he's looked slower, he's looked more lethargic, he just hasn't looked himself. So Tyler Huntley, he, he gives you that added mobility. Now, ugh, and I'm just thinking about it. I'm thinking about it if Lamar plays, I'm thinking about it if Tyler Huntley plays. And it, it, what worries me a lot about the play calling of this offense is not protecting the quarterback. And... Especially, we see it so much with Lamar Jackson, and it is, it is so frustrating and so annoying. But we also see it with Tyler Huntley, too. Um, we said it in yesterday's video. We'll say it again right now. The, the QB draws, they got to go. They throw them out, get rid of them. The design QB runs, toss them out the window. 
let for these last two games, and hopefully there will be even more games in the playoffs. But for these last two games, I, I just want to see Greg Roman allow these quarterbacks. We know these quarterbacks are special. We know Lamar Jackson is special. We know Tyler Huntley is special. We, we get that. But let these quarterbacks be quarterbacks and let them make the decision on when they can run. Don't make it be a forced issue. Let them let their instincts take over. Because that's when it looks the best. Let their let them play instinctively, and when they decide to run, let, let it be when they decide, not when Greg Roman decides. Because nine times out of ten, when Greg Roman decides, it's a bad decision. It's a bad decision. It, it, it really is. Now, we know Greg Roman is capable of calling some good games. We've seen it. We've seen it. But again, the, the, the closing out of the games is what's the biggest issue. The situational play calling is what's, what's the biggest issue. But Tyler Huntley, he, he, he allows the Ravens flexibility. And, and hopefully what Tyler Huntley does is with him being back, he allows the Ravens to be like, okay, we got another option. We don't have to force Lamar out there if Lamar is not ready to be out there. And it's, it's very scary to think about. It, it, it's very, because again, like you, you, you just, you want the franchise to make a smart decision when it comes to Lamar, but you're scared that the franchise might not make a smart decision when it comes to Lamar because you know the franchise wants Lamar out there, the fans want Lamar out there, the media wants Lamar out there, everybody wants Lamar out there, but if his body doesn't want him out there, then you cannot force the issue. Ravens, please be smart. Please be smart. Don't don't mess this up. <laughs> I can't. I know y'all are tired of hearing me say it, but y'all 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't force it. If he ain't ready, if he ain't full, go. Please don't force it. I know we we done said it plenty of times over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, but I just it's it's so important that they don't do it. Now, um, Justin Matabike, him getting activated off the COVID list. That's big too. That's big too. Obviously, the quarterback situation is a lot bigger, but just this this cannot go unnoticed. Uh, Justin Matabike, um, second year player on a defensive line, um, and while he hasn't had this super game changing second year that a lot of us expected him to have, um, he's still in a, an important piece uh, of the defensive line. He's still an important part. Uh, of the squad and it's important that um he it's, it's nice that he's ready it's nice that he's ready and and he's a he's a full goal now and he's back because the more defensive linemen the merrier uh the more defensive linemen the the better they can like could could because defensive linemen those are some big guys those are some big fellas and if you constantly got the same defensive linemen out there over and over and over again then they're gonna get tired and they, they have a higher chance of getting more tired faster because they don't have they have less rotation with less guys being out there but just a matter of case somebody know that we can that he can be explosive that he can make some stuff happen and he plays with a lot of high energy and you know Ravens boy with everything that they have been having going on this year they need all the high energy that they could possibly get so let's hope that uh that goes down uh let's hope that he can come back and he'll just be full go now another guy that they also activated too um mr tony jefferson and with, with tony jefferson being back that it's crazy that a guy who's literally been with the team uh they they cut him years ago of course he played for the ravens for a couple of years we know how it all ended with his acl injury but tony jefferson one thing you could you can question tony jefferson's coverage skills um sometimes you could even question his tackling sometimes back then but one thing that you can never question about tony jefferson and i feel like the ravens need guys with more of that that show more of that would be heart it'd be heart heart and effort because tony jefferson he gonna give it his all straight he is he, he is always going to give it his all play in play out you can never question that is he the fastest no is he the strongest well right now he might be but but he you can never question his heart ever you can never question that attitude because remember on his last well his last play as a raven before not this run as a raven but his last play as a raven before he stopped the steelers player from catching the ball he stopped the play well, maybe not even from catching, but from scoring a touchdown. His ACL went out, but and he, he ended up pulling the Steelers player down. 
I forgot if, if, if he if he forced the incompletion or just tackled him. Whatever it was, he didn't let the Steelers play of make that play, make it a big play. So if he, he he went out like that, and then you see like this dude been with the team. He came back, been with the team for what couple weeks. They signed him to the practice squad. Then of course everybody has already been hurt. So his first game he had to play. And, and he played a little bit, but then really the second game, because um, his first game was against Green Bay, but his second game against um, the Bengals. Oh, boy, that boy played, man. He played some football, man. And he bowled. He looked good. He um he looked like, and, and of course, he'd been familiar with the defense, but he played the part, and he played his role, and, and he did his thing. He looked good doing it, and he showed heart. He showed effort. I remember the play... The um, I think it was the last, uh, well, what looked like it was gonna be a, a touchdown, and I was like, oh man, Tony Jefferson got scored on for the touchdown. I mean, it is what it is. I wasn't even mad at it because Ravens were already getting whooped. The game was already over. Um, but then uh, they showed Tony Jefferson going like this in the end zone. I think it was Tyler Boyd, I believe. I forgot who it was. But they showed him going like this, and I was like, oh, Tony, nah, that, that's a touchdown. But then they showed the replay. And I was like, oh, oh my. It's crazy that Ravens haven't been so decimated that game. I mean, really all year, but haven't been so decimated that game and haven't just been torn apart that game. Their defense was ripped to shreds that game. It's crazy that, uh, and the game had been over. The game was over already, whether that counted as a touchdown or not. But the fact that Tony Jefferson still put his all out there, because you, you've seen it before. We've seen it before this year where um, Ravens uh, players have given up on plays. We And guys that are starters too. We, we've seen guys just give up on plays. We, we saw it in the Raiders game on the last play of the game. We saw it in the, uh, in the other Bengals game too. Where guys just were giving up. They were giving up. Not tackling, not trying to tackle, just watching guys run by past them. We've seen it from guys that are starters. But so when a guy comes to the practice squad, when a guy that's not even on the active roster comes in and shows heart like that, oh man, that's that that, that says a lot. That says a lot. So he um again, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if Ravens end up signing him to a contract extension. Um he uh I I really wouldn't. Um I I wouldn't. Like a, a one-year extension, a, a two years, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but anyway, uh, this is all good news for the Ravens, getting all three of these guys back. And, hey, hopefully we can get some more good news uh, leading up into this game. Today's Thursday. We, we still got Friday for some more guys to potentially come back. Saturday, of course, as well. Um, and then Sunday, hopefully we get the best news of this week meaning the Ravens get a win. And Lamar Jackson is still healthy regarding if he plays or not. Again, Ravens, I, if y'all watching this, and if anybody watching this got any plugs to the Ravens, any connects to the Ravens, please let them know not to rush Lamar Jackson because he's already been out long enough. We don't need him being out any longer than he needs to be. Don't need this this injury getting its own contract extension. We don't need that. We don't need that. So, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Please be smart, Ravens. We out.